Alright, so I now have all the parts that I need to finish this project uh, until I break something. So I do apologise that the rate of progress on this project is a little bit slow. Um, I'd love to be posting more frequent updates, but I'm pretty busy at the minute. So first of all, I bolted the main motor into the motor hub, uh, which, as I mentioned in the last video, is just 3D printed nylon. Uh, and I bolted through with four bolts, so it's a really nice secure connection. And I'm showing here just the uh, how the propeller will go on, even though I don't really want it on yet because I don't want to lose any fingers. And I'm really happy with the way this feels, it feels nice and solid like it should. Oh, and here we have the unsung hero of just about every Arduino electronics project, and that is the Tower Pro Micro Servo. Royal Blue, 9 grams, manufactured in Shunghua. Truly timeless bit of kit. So anyway, four of these servos go directly into the motor hub. Uh, they are an excellent fit, in fact perhaps a little bit too tight of a tolerance but that's not a problem because they're definitely not going to come out uh, and it seems like uh, my idea with the threaded inserts works really well because uh, the bolts went in really nicely too And in case you were wondering, I'm not actually sponsored by Tower Pro, but maybe I should be. So I just ran a little bit of code to make sure that I didn't damage any of the servos on the way in. Uh, it's just a sweep example sketch, which you should be able to find in your Arduino IDE. So I tested each servo individually to start off with, uh, just to make sure that they all worked okay and they were all fine. Um, and then I ran another bit of code just to set each servo to 90 degrees, which is the centre, because uh, these servos go from 0 to 180. Um, so I set it to 90 degrees for each one, so that I would know where to put the little arm to make sure that it has the biggest range of motion possible. So once I was sure that all the servos worked fine, I started putting on the little adapters uh, onto the little servo arms and these were used to attach the air fins directly to the servo and on the other side to the outer structure, or the outer sphere. Um, so these are just screwed in directly into the servo. And at this stage, it was just starting to look a little bit cool. So I bolted all of the air fins onto the bearing adapters, uh, and these clip the air fins themselves to the outer arches, which are made out of plywood. This is quite difficult to explain, actually, but when you see the final construction, it should be quite clear. They basically just restrict the rotation of the fins uh, to a single plane, so that uh, you know they're not going all over the place getting blown off of course uh, and here you can see they're just going straight into the servos and that's one completed fin So once I had this nice base built, it allowed me to experiment a little bit with the programming and the control. So using this 9 axis gyroscope I looked for a value which would detect rotation in the Z axis, which you can think of as the yaw um, in the perpendicular axis. Um, so I made a really simple code that would um, rotate the fins in the opposite direction depending on which way the detector was set. Um, I did encounter a little problem here as you can see, if the gyroscope gets too close to the motors, um, I'm guessing why it happens is the electric field generated by the servo motors interferes with the gyroscope and it causes it to go weird. So this just means that the gyroscope is going to have to be 
somewhere away from the motors. Uh, maybe on the bottom, or maybe on the very top actually. So again, sorry it's so slow. Uh, if I didn't have university I would have had this finished months ago, but uh, it's actually coming up to the end of the semester, so there's a chance I might have this finished before Christmas. Uh, we'll have to see. So thank you for watching. If this is the first video of mine you've stumbled upon, uh, check out some of my other videos. There's some that are a little bit more exciting than this one. Uh, and think about subscribing.